Hello, and this is Dan from Blood and Pigment, and today we are going to look at using the Online Force Builder. There are a few ways to get there. The first way is you can go into your local browser via mobile or desktop and go and punch in Blood and Plunder Force Builder, and it should be one of the first few results towards the top. Or if you're already on the Firelock website, go to the home page, and it's right here on the home page for us to find. So we're going to go ahead and click here, and this is going to bring up our Force Builder. So this is basically a online army list builder. So you have all your nationalities here, your name, the points limit, and the important thing here is that if you change your point value, so I go 200, it will go ahead and update it for the 4 to 12 right there. So that is how you kind of set your games. We're going to build an example list here. If you are a British player and you notice that you don't see Great Britain on here or British, that's because you need to go under England, and they are there. So it is all here for you. If you're an English player moving into British or vice versa, everything is there under that England tab. So I'm going to go ahead, pull up Pirates Nationality, name this list the Pirates Life. And then from here, you can choose your faction and commander. If you don't know what faction you want to put, you want to play, you can come over here and pick a commander. I'm going to come over here and do Blackbeard because he's the favorite. And he can lead Golden Age Pirates or Blackbeard's Men. I'm going to go ahead and do Blackbeard's Men. Now I have my faction and my commander both selected. If I want more information on them, I can click this I button here. And it drops down the years that they were active in history, the four special rules, and if there's any force options, there'll be a clickable link down there. So this has everything I need here. For Blackbeard's list and if I need to know more about Blackbeard the man or commander I press that I button I can bring everything down here with all his special rules I'm gonna go ahead and close those so now we come down here and these are our units so this is where you fill in your points if you notice I already have 32 points because he's a 32 point commander that is already filled in and the strike points will change as you add in units so 200 points I'm gonna add some pirates and some roundsmen. Now if you want to upgrade them you can go ahead and click this I button and scroll down and what this has is all their stats so their fight shoot and resolve and any options they can take here. However be aware of what it says because it says here that one out of four models may add grenadoes for four points per model but not with other explosives. It will actually let me add it twice so that's for you to keep an eye on. I'm going to keep those the way they are. I'm going to bump up to 8. I'm going to close him, come over to my pirates. We're going to add some blunderbusses because we want some of that. Some stink pots, and they're relatively cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and increase that. So once again, stats are here. It has a points breakdown right there for anything you may need. Now I'm going to build a C list. So we have our units. I'm going to scroll down. To where it says add ships to your force and all the ships occurring in the game are listed here. So I'm going to go ahead and find a Balandra. So we'll add that. We'll go ahead and scroll up and hit that I button. And this has everything you need to know about your ship. All the special rules, all the upgrades, and anything you can possibly need for your ship will all be here. And this will print out when you print your sheet out. And I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So we have that. I don't think there's anything that I want here. Uh, the reinforced bulkheads more than likely. And then this is more of a boarding list. So I am going to keep it as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And now I know that this ship can carry 21 models on the front deck. And then it can carry 14 models on the rear deck. So we're going to go ahead and get some artillery and probably change this list around. So I'm going to come down towards his artillery and characters, and this is where all your artillery are. So your light cannons to your heavy cannons from the ship pairs in a structure to field is all right here. Easy to find. You'll just hit that green plus button to add it to your force. As you scroll down, you'll notice there's the chain shot and grape shot. And then here are all your characters. So if you're building lists that you want fighting men, like a sharpshooter or a grizzled veteran for pirates, a loyal quartermaster, all of this is here. And since Blackbeard is leading this force, I can actually add Caesar, which he's down toward the bottom. We'll go ahead and add him because I want him. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and add a loyal quartermaster as well because I need to get as much character support as I can here since I'm going to have three units. So let me find the loyal quartermaster. There we go. So from here, I'm going to add some swivels and I'll add light cannons to kind of show you all how the artillery shows up. So from here, I can go ahead, click on here, the buy button for the swivels, and it shows me everything you know about the swivels. And I can add up to eight for this ship because it can take eight. And then for light cannons, you get the same kind of breakdown here. How many crew, how many dice, the shoot base number, which this needs to be changed, I just realized, because the update artillery rules, um, reload markers, the arc fire movement penalty, all of that, the rest of it is accurate. So we're going to change things up because I think my roundsmen are a little too pricey for my taste. And I'm going to add in another group of pirates. You know, we'll do three groups of pirates. That sounds that sounds swell. And I know I want 12 in the front. And I want 12 in the back. And let me see here. So we don't have enough to have that many cannons, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop the cannons. And 12, 30, 40, 15. Go ahead and get nine models. Nine. That should be... Yeah. So I've now basically exceeded the amount that I can have on this ship that I'm aware of. So now we're going to go ahead and make sure that everybody I want has blunderbusses. I believe my artillery crew... So yeah, they have stink pots there. All right. And I know I have about five points left to work with. I think I'm going to leave that there. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if I add more over here, it is going to go over. Oh, no, it's going to get us right at 298. That is fine. We'll be really cheeky, and we will add a musician here as well, because that can be really trolly. Musician. Here we go. Boom. All right, scrolling back up, we're even 200 points. You see that it does show your strike points every 8, 16, 24 models. You'll be hitting a strike point. So you have your force built. The first thing you want to do is you want to save it. You go up here and click Save. And if you notice, it now generates a link. So what you'll do is you can copy this and put it in a document to save all your lists for any upcoming games. You'll see a Facebook login button here. Ignore that. That is currently not working. Facebook had an update and we've not been able to overcome that update yet. So just for all intents and purposes, ignore that. Now, let's say you're a little more old school. You don't want to have it on a laptop or a tablet. You want to print it out. We have you. Go ahead and hit print. And you'll hear it includes special rules and print large font. You'll hit print, and it should generate a preview here. Here we go. All right. So it's going to show you what is on each page. And what we'll print out, essentially, is basically you have it black and white or color. So kind of the same information, your points, models, and strike points. All your rules are going to be right here, your units. And then I did large font, so kind of scooted it down. You will have all these special rules here. Um, unless it comes from a fighting man, if it, if any rules come from a fighting man, they won't be shown here. So you will still need your rule book if you don't have one. And then here at the bottom are our three, our three fighting men. So we have Caesar, Loyal Quartermaster, and the Musician with all their rules. The Swivel Gun. I guess not all their rules, but their special rules here that are listed. And then an entire section for your ship. Once this is printed out, as you take damage, you can go ahead and mark those off with a pencil and then erase if you use multiple lists or multiple pieces of paper, or you play this list multiple times. And then from here, there's one last thing you can do. So let's say I build this list, and I totally whoop Martin's butt this, th this upcoming Thursday, and I just, I cream him. You know, he is so upset that he threatens to quit the game and leaves forever. Well, I say, hey, I would like to share this list. I think this is pretty good. You can head on over to Blood and Pigment under our Community Force Builder page, and what will happen is if you go to community force building and there'll be a link that as you know sends you here what will happen is as you scroll down you can go ahead and submit your force name your name the force builder link and then a description you know sit here that you know i blew my opponent out of the water 
might help me spell it right and just give a description and we will publish it to the blog and um, we highly recommend you take pictures and put it here along with the featured image so if you are good with photos you can go ahead and do that and we also have a article that actually joseph wrote about taking pictures of your minis that'll help out a lot so that is how you use the forest builder if you have any questions feel free to comment the video or go ahead and go to our facebook page and ask any questions and we will get you taken care of so that has been another blood and pigment video if there's anything else you need from us like i said go ahead and contact us on that facebook page and keep your dice ready and the wind at your back your heart